everybody. I decided that I like this jacket and so I'm gonna wear it again. <laughs> this is Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning February 21st, 2022. So let's dive in here. Report down below, how did your week go last week? Did anything happen? Did you see some breakthroughs, breakdowns? <laughs> what happened for you? All right. Let's just tune in here and see what is coming up and what we need to be made aware of. Yeah, I'm hearing lightning of your load. So there could be, and it becomes a lightning kind of moment when you have realizations, right? So maybe you've carried something with you for a long time, but there's some discovery, some understanding, and you're able to move on, you know? That's a beautiful gift. So we have the magician. So now we're free and clear to start manifesting. This wants to come out, Knight of Gabriel. Okay, so this could be a new creative start. Three of Gabriel, this is very, <laughs> this is good. And change your life. This literally says change your life. So let's put these in order here. First up was the magician, Archangel Raziel. So Raziel is known as the mystical archangel of hidden secrets, hidden wisdom. And he's often associated with rainbow colors, kind of a sparkly rainbow color. And so this is really imperative if we are going to understand what we're manifesting and what we're trying to bring in, we have to understand our own power and how to use that in a good way. Use your powers for good, not bad, right? <laughs> okay, so it says here, you can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. So again, we have some opportunity here because of what we've learned, or I just dumped over the entire deck again. There's a whole thing going on. Let me just shove that over, okay. So we are having a fresh start, getting back to one, okay? So this is actually the number one here. So getting back to one, getting back to basics, Maybe you have evaluated and looked and said, you know what, things are not going the way I had always planned and always hoped. Maybe you're realizing that your work is too much or, you know, maybe you are ready for love or maybe you're ready for a move. You're ready for a fresh start. And this is the kickoff moment, letting you know that you have all of the power within you to make it happen, but it has to be brought into <laughs> reality. Now I wanna point out here, we have two Gabriel cards. And Gabriel, in my mind, is associated with the sacral chakra. It can be associated with the throat chakra as well. But seed of creation, you know, conception, creative ideas, you know, flow, emotional flow, all of that, nurturing, that's, that's Gabriel. So we have Knight of Gabriel here, I'll read this. Uh, confident, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic, time to take action, great passion for a cause, instinctively, knowing just what to do. And then three of Gabriel, which is prosperity arising from wise planning, time to take the next step. That's the big takeaway here. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So we do have some, I'm telling you something is breaking open. There's some inspiration and I'm getting this feeling to pass along. Think about when you are at your happiest. When you picture being calm and serene, what do you, what do you see? Now for some of you, we go, our minds go immediately to like, oh, just like a light filled room with nature around. And <laughs> if you were in that space, I don't know how happy you would be for, for a while. But if you really start to, let's say you're looking for a new home and you really allow yourself to relax out of the ego consciousness and you start picturing it. Do you see art? Do you see color? Do you see, you know, whatever is around you? Are you out in the middle of nowhere by yourself? Are you in a city? You know, are there city noises around? You know, whatever it is, allow your heart to speak to you. Now, when you're talking about creating this next chapter, maybe you want to create more abundance and prosperity for yourself, really take a hard look at where you've been putting your creative life force. Where has it been going? Has it been going towards other people's success? Has it been going towards other people's needs and wants and demands? And if you're not getting paid well for it, why are you there, <laughs> right? Why are you doing it? It may be time to put your own needs first. And that's where Change Your Life comes in. This is Archangel Shamuel. So Shamuel is all about, she's known as the Archangel of Love, but Shamuel is mostly about self-love and about reaching your fullest potential, not by being egotistical and saying, I know I can do it and blah, 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 get out of my way, I'm gonna, you know, <laughs> whatever. It's not that. It is more about 
I believe in myself. I'm going to follow my inspiration. I'm going to not doubt myself. And I know that if I fail, it's only a failure in society's eyes. And who cares what they think? Who cares what they think? You can always keep learning from every attempt that you make towards your goals, right? So this says a sudden revelation that offers freedom. That thing right there where we don't have to worry about what society thinks of us. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. Now, for some of you out there, if there's something you've been working on and it's just been sitting there and you're you know, kind of like, well, I got my day job I got to do and da, 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 da. You know, somehow you are figuring out a way to clear your schedule so that you can make more time for the things that you love. Or I keep getting this image of people renovating their homes. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> so renovating your space, maybe you're cleaning your space and you're adding touches and things that really uplift you. Now, I know I'm kind of an, an unusual character in that my home is everything. Okay, I got a cancer moon. My home is everything. I love beauty. I love art. It needs to be practical though. You know, like a practical kind of beauty. Like I want a gorgeous couch, but I want to be able to sit on it <laughs> like, and be, you know, comfortable. So for me, you know, I'm always shifting up my, my home, making sure I'm constantly, I don't do spring cleaning. I clean like constantly. And um, trying to get things moved out, clean out closets, making them, making them pretty, bringing in new colorful pillows or whatever I want to do just to make it feel bright and uplifting and inspiring. And that's the thing, is your environment inspiring? Whether that's your work cube, your office, you know, whatever you do, even if you're somebody who, you know, uh, I'm thinking of like utilities workers and maybe you're in a truck all day. <laughs> clean out the truck, okay? Clean out the truck, get the dust off the dashboard. What can you add in there that makes it kind of nice? You know, I mean, you don't need to like have it all like, unless you really want to decorate and put things all over the place. I mean, okay, but I don't know what's legal, but you know, just make it nice. I, I have this feeling of clear your space, clear your space to make room for some new energy to come on in. Okay, let's get a color card here. So we have Amber, work on your sacral chakra this week. That's the space right, right underneath your navel, okay? Archangel Gabriel, the color orange. Do it, okay? Cause something, something magical, fiery coming out of this, okay? <laughs> I don't know, be kind of weird. Anyway, I'm not gonna go there. Anyway, Amber, awaken your creativity. The number is 15. You can't make this up, look. I'm, I'm, I'm overreacting. Okay. <laughs> I'll dial it down. But look, change your life. All these sacral chakra, Archangel Gabriel, let's create something new. Let's give birth to a new idea, a new way of life. Let's recreate and manifest <laughs> what we want now for where you are now. You know what I mean? So if you're just getting started in life, let's say, and you've really just always struggled to make ends meet and, you know, you've always just accepted the hand-me-down furniture and you know all that and that got you by and that's all well and good but maybe you're getting into a space of no I want to be able to have I want to invest in my art or I want to be able to do x y and z I want to be able to travel more what have you this is a time this is inspiration this is all inspiration coming through to let you know here's how you can make that happen right here is something that you can work you can do remotely there you go so it's going to pay for your way but you know, you can manifest this new way of living. Some of you absolutely are giving up on the housing market. Why are houses coming up so much in this reading? I, anyway, um, <laughs> uh, some of you are giving up on the housing market entirely and you're doing like that, that van living thing or you, maybe you're just going on the road and you're taking your laptop and you're saying, I'm just gonna see where the wind takes me. I don't know, there's this real breaking free kind of energy but you're not gonna be able to change your life until you change your perspective and let the old way come down. But the thing is, is, you know, change can be scary for a lot of people, but I don't think, I think you're gonna be so, yeah, it's enthusiasm. It's like, you're so enthusiastic about 
the prospect of having something new and what that might look like, that is the driving force. And so even if things start to move out of your existence now, you're just clearing the road for something brand new. It's exciting, okay? But don't just sit back and things are gonna just, you know, come to you and you know, you, you gotta work on it, okay? So we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.